today we're going to talk about a very specialty film that i think doesn't exist anymore according to the washi film um they he the um, the guy who produced this film said that unfortunately he needs to he needed to uh, stop producing this film because of the cost um which is sad because um i really liked that film so we are talking about the um, Washi Film S which is a 50 ISO with a 36 exposure black and white handcrafted film and particular about that S film which is that it's a sound recording film now sound recording film essentially meaning that back in the day during the motion picture time I you know they had a film that used to record high definition sound in the form of picture very interesting there's a lot into going these things and we are definitely not going to talk about it we're going to talk about what uh, this film about and what is the outcome of it first of all technical uh, information about the development i developed it with kodak hc 110 um at um, i think that it was dilution b if i remember correctly it is a dilution v b because I did not want to, you know, um, kind of take risk. There is the, it's my computer made a sound. The risk means that I, this is the first time I'm, I'm using this developer. So I wanted to stay in the, in the, you know, within the rules. That's what I mean to say. Also, um, the, website does not give you any kind of information on that particular developer they had all the other ones d76 they had uh, the popular ones but not this one well but they said that in case of any absence of developer it can use exact same development time of kodak triax 400 so I think I developed for five minutes, not even, yeah, I, I developed it for five minutes. So that's the technical part. Um, it didn't take a long time to develop it. It was very easy and quick, to be honest, it was too quick that I thought that, am I doing it wrong or is it too fast? <laughs> Funny, but turned out to be well at the end. Now about the images. Here are some of the photos that I've taken using my Canon AV-1 uh, with 50mm lens. Um, the camera gave me a lot of trouble and you're going to see in the images what I'm talking about. So here are some of the samples. Now you can clearly see that 
and there were a lot of um, overexposures. Now, I honestly have no idea what happened. It's most likely under the camera there is a button that you uh, supposed to press it in order to pull it back and I may have accidentally pressed that button with my pinky when I was taking the photo I don't know what happens and uh, I took uh, quite a lot of accidental double exposure which is cool I mean I don't mind it but I had some photos and some convolution in my head and turned out that uh, that photo came out just right along with other photos slapped on top of it which kind of annoyed me a little bit and there is one particular image that you saw that I personally liked which is this one it almost looked like I took a macro image of something of a bacteria uh, like from out of the world which is quite crazy I still cannot figure out what photo I've taken what is the photo is of you know I'll find out probably in one day and then I'll write down in the comment section below and that is another particular image that I uh, my favorite among many which is double exposure of a coconut tree or looking upward which is very nice and uh, and my selfie which is <laughs> of course uh, one of them with my with, with with cinematic look with a serious look which you know cool <laughs> i love it very nice yeah there is some of the photos that i i i, I think that you know turn out to be pretty cool this one of them was the light leak with two guys are um, playing on the beach you know overall this image this this film was a very good film could take nice images provided a good amount of light because it's a 50 iso so you need to make sure that you are in a very um, bright area it's very contrasty so you have to be very careful choosing your developer and preferably a developer that gives you a lot of shadow detail uh, but nonetheless it is going to be contrasty and you have to be a very good, big fan of contrast very interesting film this little um, washi and I had good time taking some nice pictures I wish I had less uh, less um, double exposures I think it's a little too much repetitive in at some point other than that um was 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 nice i had more trouble with my camera than the film to be honest to be clear anyway that's all from me about this beautiful uh, little washi film if you have anything to add please um comment below and let me know what you thought on it and what you think about it etc etc anything um help because i love to learn uh, from you guys too so with that in mind i see you very soon look after yourself and bye bye